Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to tell you guys how I got my chinchillas to bond so quickly. So I use the side-by-side -side method to bond my chinchillas. And if you don't know what that is, that's where you have two cages and you move them closer and closer together. I got Susie when she was eight weeks old, so she was still a baby. So I put her in the um, smallest cage. And I will try to show a picture if I have it, what it looked like. If not, I'll try to find one off Google and show you. Um, so yeah, I put her in the smaller cage. So with the side-by-side -side method, you want to put the cages uh, right next to each other, but not close to where they can touch each other. When I first did the side-by-side -side method, I actually had their cages right next to each other, and they didn't like, they didn't fight or anything, but you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to have their cages, uh, I would say like a foot apart, and then every day move them closer and closer together. So, um, I actually posted a video on my Instagram of when I had their cages close together, so I will insert that here. So yeah, as you can see, Susie was crying, but I honestly think that, I don't think she was scared, I think she thought Louise was her mom. So, once I posted that on Instagram, um, people have commented and said to move them farther apart and then move them closer and closer together. So that's what I did. All right, so when it was time to let them out to play, I did let them out at the same time, but I made sure I watched them very closely to make sure they didn't fight. Louise did not like Susie at first, but that's understandable because Louise has not been around any other chinchilla her entire life. So it was kind of scary because I didn't know how Louise was gonna react with another chinchilla around. Um, and it did take, it did take a while, so. Don't be discouraged if your chinchilla is not getting along with the new one. So after a week and a half to two weeks, whenever their cages were close together, I decided that I wanted to move them into the same cage. When I moved them into the same cage, I did separate it. I put one of their um, granite slabs over the uh, hole where they could go from top level to bottom level. So when I moved them into the same cage, I did clean out their cage before and made sure everything was freshly cleaned so that Louise's scent wasn't all over everything. Therefore, Susie wouldn't feel threatened with Louise's scent all over. Oh, and I also did let them use the same dust bath just so they could get used to um, the smell of one another. And I decided to get a couple new toys. I didn't replace everything in their cage, but I did get some fresh new toys Again, so Louise's smell wasn't on them. That's the key, I would say, is to make sure it's completely clean and make sure you have fresh toys and food and water just so the newer chinchilla doesn't feel threatened. So when I separated them, I put Susie on the top and Louise on the bottom. When I put the chinchilla on there, they couldn't have contact with each other, but they could hear each other and they could smell each other. So I actually think that's what made them bond so quickly. So if you wanted to skip the side-by-side -side method and just go ahead with um, splitting their cage in half. I think that was more effective than the side-by-side. -side. When I moved Susie into this cage after about a day or two, I would let them out to play and then after I would put them away, I would flip-flop them so I would have Susie on the bottom and Louise on top. Therefore, they could get used to each other's smell and I did that for probably a week or two or until I felt comfortable with their progress. I think that switching them helped so much. I would definitely recommend trying that and see if it works for you. So once I felt comfortable enough, I did remove the chinchilla during the day. Since chinchillas are nocturnal, they're more active during the night than daytime. So make sure you do this during the day. Therefore, they're tired so they're not going to want to fight. They're not going to want to run around and whatnot. So um, during the day, I removed the chinchilla and let them explore the entire cage, get used to one another. Make sure you keep a close eye on them. I wouldn't do that like if you're going to work or school, I wouldn't just open it and leave them there. I did this over Thanksgiving break, I think it was. Thanksgiving or winter break, I'm not sure which one it was, but I had I was home from school so I was able to um, keep a close eye on them. And the whole process for me, it took about a month. They were completely fine. Now they have been best friends ever since. They will lay in the same hammock together. They'll run around the room together. They love each other. They never fight. The process of bonding chinchillas does take time, so don't be discouraged if it um, it's taking longer than a month for you. So yeah, that's basically all I did for bonding my chinchillas. They pretty much clicked 
um, really fast and they have been best friends ever since. Alright, so I hope this video helped some of you guys out. If it did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye!